Hello, and today we're looking at uh, what will happen if you are lucky enough to have two failure port 16s. And I have two failure port 16s, so it's a little bit dark. That's so um, you can see the scribble strips when they come up. So let's switch on the first one. Give it a second to sort itself out. And you can see we've got uh, one through to 16 and should have banking working 16 tracks at a time so we're up to 17 there back to track one we're up to 33 so we're banking on all 16 tracks at once as we have. Um, but what happened had um, 16 means the loop and um, I enter a secret um, it works now. It didn't work when I first started. I've uh, fiddled around with the extender scripts and there are three extender scripts and this can now be configured so that you have a full, uh, what is it, 32 tracks um, and they're all working. So it's still working over here. Oh, actually before I do that, um, let's have a look at how it's set up here. Um, so I've got the left-hand uh, failure port 16 set up on uh, port 1 and port 2 using the, the main script and the extender, the first extender script. And then I've got the second um, failure port 16 set up as FP16 number 2. Port 3 and port 4 uh, using extender script 2 and extender script 3. So they're all in order. So 1 to 8. 2 to 16, uh, 17 to 24, and 25 to 32 in terms of tracks. Um, let's close that down. We can then see the mixer. And I'm just going to show quickly that we're all still in business as far. Well. Let's bring the mixer over so I can actually see track one and so on. So starting over here. We're all good so far. We can do multiple tracks if we want, same as before. And we're up to track 16 there now, onto track 17, 18, multiple tracks as well. And pardon me for just handing you over. Let's move across up to so we can see the whole lot. And just I'm using the demo track here for um, nine loops demo FL Studio track um, but we're good to go um, we can do all the things we kind of expect to do so if I select a track here you can see I can change the panning track 14 and you'll see it on FL Studio and you'll see it on the fader I select um, and do this so you use the um, the uh, panning um, that's appropriate for the scribble strip or the, um, the tray. So I think that's quite useful. Still got some issues because the fader port isn't really supposed to support FL Studio, but I'm not sure. I don't think you can do this with any other door. So um, feather in the cap for FL Studio. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice if uh, Personas did a bit more work and uh, started supporting FL Studio. Um, properly um, at the moment it's uh, oh I should say actually this is set up as a they're both set up as a Mackie controller and um, it's the first option which is uh, the um, uh, what's it called Apple Logic um, seems to work the best they're both set up the same way um, I think that's probably all I've got uh, to say the scripts will be up on the script forum for FL Studio if you if you happen to have two Fader Port 16s. Um, thanks very much for your time.